Welcome back. Hi. Unfortunately, recently I had to say goodbye to my best friend of over 10 years. Of course, it was my four-legged friend. Um, she had an autoimmune disorder. It was very sudden. Um, and helping your dog cross the Rainbow Bridge is heartbreaking. But the woman sitting next to me, Dr. Michelle Morrison, you are probably the best veterinarian I've ever met. Um, and you are with Pet Home Euthanasia. You were able to come to my house uh, unexpectedly and help us have Kitzel cross the Rainbow Bridge at home. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So tell me a little bit, I feel like, um, you know, we joke around a lot on the show, but obviously this is something that all pet owners eventually are gonna have to go through if they don't pass naturally. Um, and tell us how unique it is to be able to um, have your dog pass at home. It's. Uh, kind of a new service in a sense that's been around maybe for 13 years other veterans do it if they have a home practice mm -hmm. but there are now specialized people who this is what we do every single day so um, yeah it's very nice to come into a home adjust to the personalities of the people whose goal is to make their pet mm -hmm. completely comfortable and then my job is to make the client's comfortable. And what was great about this situation is I didn't have to just go take her into my regular vet and drop her off. You came to our home. Um, you gave us, you were there for actually almost two and a half wow. hours. Um, and everybody is different, right? But you really allowed us to have the time to grieve and to allow her to pass peacefully. She was able to just pass laying on my chest. She didn't move. When I came in, she was that's where she was laying and that's we went went ahead and made her comfortable there. And so that also doesn't put any stress on the animal as mm -mm. well. No, she's not stressed. Okay, the other thing that, and I'm not gonna lie, my husband is a little skeptical of, you know, anything um, holistic or uh, when it comes to animal senses, but the other thing you really helped us with was we have another four-legged child at home, and tell us a little bit about the method of helping him uh, understand that his sister had passed. So I believe that they're just as important, the pet family, they can grieve if they're older pets that, that are have been living most of their lives together, they can pass away from the grief. So we just let them know. We just introduce them so that they know mm -hmm. and they have they have peace that's I can't explain. Right. That is very um, endearing to cats and dogs. It was um, it was unlike anything that I had ever experienced, and he really did understand. He was on his best behavior for the next two days after <laughs> my dog's name, uh, who passed away, was Kitzel. We call her Bear. Uh, for two days, he, Hans was on his best behavior, and then after that, he was back to being an only <laughs> an only child and kind of a brat. But um, the other thing that was really great, and I think is different, rather than taking your dog to a vet, is. You gave us a last look, and you put Kitzel in a little casket made for a princess when you took her off. Tell us what that does for a pet owner. So what that does, um, basically I think that it really helps the women, the female mm -hmm. um, clients that I have, but the men typically have a pretty strong reaction that um, they like that, that I just lay them there on a satin pillow with blankets mm -hmm. so that they can see their eyes closed and it's they a beautiful are, look. They think they're just sleeping. They are actually at peace. Um, it was an impossible situation. I didn't think that I would even be able to talk about it, but I feel like it's something that I really need to share with people at home because it's such a difficult time um, that it'll really help you get through. If you happen to need um, assistance, PetHomeEuthanasia.com. You go to Santan, Buckeye, Prescott, Maricopa, and you're available 24-7. Yep, all over the valley. I answer the phone. If you leave a message, I will always call and help you through it, whether you use me or not. Great, thank you so much. Dr. Mimi, you're the best.